Yes. Yes. The pre-wedding erase all doubts. Cage the devil. Clamp cold feet. I'm not having cold feet, Mom. I. What is it? I just need to be reassured. Reassurance? What other reassurance do you need? The cards have been printed. The venue has been paid for. Friends and other family members are waiting for you at the venue already. So, madam, pick your beautiful self. To the venue, get married to so that your handsome husband, yeah? and work hard at making your marriage work just the way I and your father taught you. Hmm? 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 Beautiful you. Thank you, mommy. That's my girl. Darling. You know, I love you so much. I love you too. I want to be fine. Thank you. Mm. Thank I you, mommy. So. I love you. I love you. <laughs> that's so fun. Really nice. Okay, okay, that's fine. I, I, I think the makeup artist is wrong. Okay, she Did left she already. Go? Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Please come. Um, have my veil. The veil. Have my the veil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> well, I'm getting married today. I'm on hard way. You look beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to be married. Yes. So bright. I love you, Mom. I love you. Okay, I'm not going to be jealous. Just catch the bouquet, okay? Of course, it's very big. Catch the bouquet. Just go, let's catch the bouquet. <laughs> 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 We will not just go take crab body for that moon. We will not go. He make one the shine like, 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 like this now. <laughs> I told you the funny character. Ah, <laughs> <funny one. laughs> uh, James, I think that was what we did. We bit with the honey. That's why we're listening. Now you just take uh, uh, English grammar. One charm. Nap him. Butter up. I'm listening to James. I'm listening to James. I'm listening to James. James, please uh, take uh, out the luggages from the boat. No problem, my guy. <laughs> Such a funny game. Hey, hey, hey,
Mm -hmm. Babes. What's all this man? Why are things scattered? What's all this mess? I don't really like when things are scattered around. What's that supposed to mean? You know my wife. You're not supposed to pack my things for me. Did you just say that to me, Richard? Of course. And I'm hungry. What are we eating? Well, I ordered for food from a restaurant. You should be here soon. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. I'm a married man. I expect my wife to cook for me. Of course. I... I... From tomorrow, I'll start cooking. It's just for today. Okay? I'll request for a maid from the office tomorrow. What for? Because I'm entitled to a maid. Besides, Richard, I need someone that can help me with house chores. It's just two of us, including the gate man. I mean, what do you need a maid for? I advise you wait till you get pregnant and you can start requesting for a maid. I thought this thing had expired. I just got home. Mm. Madam, the food where you order don't come. Mm. Thank you, James. Babes, our dinner is here. Just remind me tomorrow to go get the full stuffs and make everything ready for the house, okay? It's fine, babes. Why? I took care of it already. I called my food vendor to bring us back rice, Chibas of yams, gari, oil, everything we need then on my way back from work tomorrow. I'll branch the mall and then get some groceries we need. My God, this is happening so early already. And you, what are you, what are you still doing here? I just say my mouth join follow for this food with I'm going to make it out. You want to put your eyes inside? Come and carry it. Thank you, sir. Ah. Get out of here! Nonsense. No sense. No oh God, thank you. Hey, you, madam. What were you trying to do? Were you trying to embarrass me in his presence? Huh? I don't understand. Trying to make it look like I cannot provide for my own family? Huh? What? How would you take it down me? We currently know I am more than you two. I was just trying to assist you. That was why I used my own money to take care of the basics we need in the house. While you save yours, you know, for future purpose, it's all for the good of the family. Madam, if I need your help or your assistance, I will ask for it. Until then, stay put. Yes. How much do you pay for the full stuff? Richard. How much? One hundred and eighty-five. By tomorrow morning, I'll transfer the money to your account. Richard! What? That is almost your one salary. It's none of your business. I'm about to serve dinner, so, bitch! <laughs> Uh, if you are going to the walk with this car, uh, what car will I drive to work? Oh, babes, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were ready. Okay, you know what? Let me drop you, okay? As what now? Eh? Well, as what? To show to people that it's your car or what? Huh? That your husband is at, the, at your mercy? I don't understand, but why are you saying this, babes? Well, don't you understand? If that's not what you mean, you should relinquish the car keys to me, knowing that I'm the husband. And I should be the one with the car. But it's my car. This car was given to me by my company. I said, what tools? What price? Say? <laughs> it's all right. No problem. Rub it in. As a matter of fact, go get sponge and scrub it in. Okay? Uh, you need to understand that uh, I once had a car. You know. You know, right? I once had a car. I once owned a car before it got stolen. You, baby, you know what? I don't have time for all this unnecessary drama. Please, take a cab. Mm. Something like that, okay? 
me jump up. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think we're good to go, but a little adjustment that needs to be done because I can see those ports here as well. Cynthia, yeah. no, you're not. It's as if you're not here with us. Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. Please, where, where are we? Well, um, you have a copy of the um, contract to, to hear about it. Then. Okay. We have yet. Let's have you back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Julie. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Zola. The first one. Thank you so much. Anyway, mm. your well research recommendation has been approved by the head of it. And they have given us the go ahead. Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. What a shame. What is she even feeling like? A superwoman or what? Are you jealous? What do you mean the same thing? Are you a friend or a fool? You are really, really jealous. So can put a few together. James, Madam, Oga tell me see, me cannot allow you to drive this car. Let I come back. Are you okay? What rubbish are you talking about? Madam, I can't put the car. I know if you open them, I know I know I'll lose my work. Inside this compound. I said, save your breath before you ask the next question because yes, I did. And it will remain so until I, your husband, have enough money to buy car food. This is unheard of. Jesus Christ! Jesus. What does this be, Jack? No, you don't expect me to pack my car in someone else's compound or outside the house when we have a very big compound of ours. Your car. Did I buy any car for you? No, did, did I walk into any car lot to say, pick this car for my wife? No! So as far as I'm concerned, you own no car. Alright? So petty. Why are you so petty? No, no, what, what was the meaning of all this? Let, let me tell you, Zola. You have to understand that ever since we got married, you've been insulting me. Insult you? How? Richard, how? Anyway, that's my decision and it's final. Okay? Final. 
What's Have the car! What's this? What, 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 what's that story? Take it, bitch! Have the car! Let me tell you, Sierra. If you want to have a wife and kid to me, you have to treat respectfully. Treat respectfully, my friend! Nigga, you have a pen in there and you're chopping the car key for, for me, your husband. Female colleagues at your place of work that have come these cars that come drop you off. Rufus was the only one coming my way. That's why I chummed him. Rufus was the only one coming home. So that's why you guys came home by this time of night. Can you see how late it is? Jola, where are you coming from? A director in my office. His birthday was today. So my office decided to put up a small party at a nearby restaurant. I sent you a message. Didn't you get it? You are beginning to. Place your colleague at your place of work higher than your husband, isn't it? Huh? You don't even give me a put me any kind of respect anymore. Hey, please don't. All these little things are part of corporate politics. See, if I didn't go or I left too early, it would count against my PR rating in the eyes of my boss. Will you shut your mouth? What I'm trying to let you know is that, be it official or not, you have no right to go anywhere without your express permission from your husband. I don't understand what's all this. No, what's all this strange attitude? Are you trying to guard my life? No, listen to me. From the moment you said I do, your life ceased to become solely yours. Or were you not taught anything during our premarital uh, uh, counseling? Just because I am married doesn't mean I shouldn't be. Richard, please! No, no, you're, you're talking back at me? No, no, no. You, you're talking back at me? Huh? Richard, I am not talking back at you. But you've changed. No, look at you. This is not how you were when we were dating. I changed because I know there's a big difference between dating and marriage. You should do the same. So your female female colleague is not a matter. Like I saw my job your wife. What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm here to take my sugar mommy out for lunch. I don't understand. Who's your sugar mommy? Sweet 16, me. Stop playing. I got you. I knew that was going to make you laugh. So, <laughs> let's go out for lunch. Um, okay, um, just give me a few seconds. This must be Richard, your husband, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I knew it. Wow, he's so handsome. Of course, he is. Um, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the wedding. Okay, you're so, lost doing. I'm yeah. going for lunch, actually. Can yeah. I take them home? No, nope. I knew you would say that. Anyway, nice to meet you, Richard. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Oh.
You are beginning to like this place more than me. Hmm? Yet you were the one saying it's expensive. It's expensive. That's because we can afford it. Besides, babe, you know the memory of this restaurant books for me. You mean my darling? Sorry for us. I'm <laughs> sure this place will continue to hold marvelous surprises for us. Because I thought about getting my beautiful wife something special. Mm. And voila. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Well, not as beautiful as you are. I know I've been stressing you lately, so I thought I should get you something to, you know, appease the gods. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. And you can I was with the account manager early this morning. I told him to create a dual account for the both of us. That's where your salary will be paid into it. Right? You did what? Not a count manager. You did what? I don't understand why you choose here and now to tell me about this. You just spilled that. Spilled what? Why do you keep doing this, Richard? You see, look, I was just going to tell you later in the evening. Oh my goodness. You know what? You know what? You know Don't spoil this moment. Let's forget about it. We'll talk about it when we get home, okay? We'll talk about it when we get home. About what? You know what? I'm done. I am so done. I've lost my appetite. Believe it. What about the food? I placed an order already. You, you know the food is expensive here. It is expensive. It's fine. Our food to be What? I said our food. I don't understand you, Richard. I don't get it. Why do you keep doing this to me, Richard? No, 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 I'm sorry, your order will soon be ready. How much is the food? 22k. Okay, it's fine. What are you trying to do? Trying to embarrass me in public? Richard, are you dropping me up? I should call a car. Tell me that lunch went south. Wait a minute, you guys didn't just quarrel in public, did you? Respect me in public and I come and start teasing me with your food. No, listen. You disrespected me first, Richard. I don't understand. Expensive lunch, cozy restaurant, a very beautiful gold bracelet, which I am appreciative of. No, but at least you should have thought of talking to me first before rushing to your account officer, Richard. I'm the head of this house. I can decide to say and do whatever I have to do. I don't have to run it by you. In this day and age. Listen, I'm an African man who totally believes in our culture. I believe you will only do as I say. Richard, don't Richard me. He will sign that document for the joint account. Never. <laughs> it's too early for you to be daily in this marriage. Just for me. I 
I don't understand. What are you even saying? No, come on, what are you even saying? I have not transferred any money from that my account in the past three weeks. No, now, what are you even saying? Okay, I transfer five million from an account that prevent me. What are you even saying now? Let me call you back. I'll call you back. Did you transfer money from my desk? Oh, yes, I did. You did what? No, Richard, how did you even get my pin? I can't remember giving you my pin. Babes, I beg you, make a real word. I don't understand. What do you mean? No, 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 Ask me that I've gotten married. I'll give you the real deal. Mm. I'm gonna keep quiet. And baby, I think I called you back, okay? I will not know what to ask you. Come on, keep quiet. And babe, and that, how's your man? That my friend I told you got married. So, you know, it feels so. So we all that um, everyone in my circle is getting married. I guess I've got a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me quickly fix it, okay? Oh. What's all this fuss about? Why are you making it look like it's you're supposed to be keeping personal things from me? So it's fine for you to keep secrets from me, right? Do I even have the password to your phone? Is that what you want to say? Is, you know, we cannot share our password with your agenda because anything you see like this, you will blow out of proportion. So it's better we keep our things to ourselves. All right. That's not even an issue. I mean, you had no right whatsoever to tamper with my account without my permission. I don't understand. Anyway, if you must know, I also transferred 70% of my, my total income into that account. Because as you know, the amount we are paying for this place is really much. And it's going to increase by next year. It's better we save enough money to build our own place, isn't it? It's not like I don't understand you, Richard. It's not like I don't, I don't have your back when it comes to planning our, our future. But I don't like the way you jump into these things. I don't like it. I thought we agreed on coming together, talking about these things before you go ahead with handling these issues. You promise? I'm tired, Richard. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of all this small misunderstanding. Me too. So I give you my word. It's not happening again. Hmm. Eh? A whole son in law. My darling son in law <laughs> came to <laughs> visit me. And I don't have any alcohol in the house. Oh, uh, come on. Should I be mocked? I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. Are you I sure? just wanted to surprise you. I actually have. I don't expect you to have anything for me. Are now. you sure? Of course, my little mama, I'm sure. Uh, the main reason I actually came here is to ask for your account details because I would like to be, you know, sending some money for upkeep for you and uh, my little one. <laughs> that is very thoughtful of you. It's okay. Thank you very much, my dear. It's all right. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll save it as a beneficiary. <laughs> Thank you, my son. It's good to you. Send 100,000. Yes. No, 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 no. For now. No, 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 no. For now. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> Let me show you. Amen. Amen. So, how are you doing? It's such a joy to have. Oh. I appreciate you. How are you? Ah, I am fine. Even if I was not okay before. <laughs> I am fine. I am okay. I am okay. I think I'm good to go now. It's not a bit better. A bit? I don't understand. A bit? I mean, I just went to thorough bath. I flossed. I used all the deodorants I, I could put my hands on. Besides, I'm not using that cream again. I didn't even touch a dime on my skin. So it beats away. Maybe you should uh, spray some more pen. Or better still, take it out more. So you can be spraying it intermittently. Please, I will. I have, I will. I just for real. Am I really smelling? Are you sure it's not your nose? Because I can't perceive anything except the perf and Deodorant I use. Are you sure it's not your nose? Maybe it's my nose. Okay. Let's try and take a perfume with you so you can spray it intermittently. Let's hear it. Okay. Babes, for him, I'm a nice man. Maybe it's my nose. No? Where's my nose? Uh, nice perf. Um, do you do you like the way I I smell? Um, well, a little too harsh, I I should say. It smells like you're trying so hard to conceal an unpleasant foul stench. Really? My apologies. I mean, I didn't mean to embarrass you. Just getting the fact. Uh, where are they getting foul smell from? Something must be wrong with my nose. That's so good for me. Well, I, I was thirsty. Don't worry. It's a minor forgivable sin. So, how did it go? Mm. She got the exact impression you wanted me to convey to her. I said it was such a sudden incident. 
I just hope it's alright. No, wow. Well. Yeah, it's a problem, husband's me. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, your wife told me that you were resting upstairs, so I told her not to bother you for my sake. Oh, I see. Babe, um, a colleague of mine have just been admitted, and I want to go with to him. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Let me get my bag. All right. All right. See you soon. Yeah. You want something to drink? Um, no. Um, right from the very first moment I said my eyes on you, I've never stopped imagining you and me together. Stop it. Oh, please, don't pretend like you don't want me to. I saw the way I was ravaging the room with my pen at the the other day. My wife, okay, stop it. Tinder. Ah, you can't pretend for Africa. If you really don't want me, why are you also speaking in hush voices and you're still sitting here? Here, babe. I'm not here. 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 I'm not Good morning, madam. Good morning. How are you doing? I did fine. Um, please, can you open the gate? I have a message to deliver. Uh, my madam, don't go walk. I know. I'm not here to see you, madam. I'm here to see your guy. I have a very important message for him. Okay. Make her go tell and say, first thing they ask and forget. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. I mean, there's no point stressing him to come downstairs and going back again. Just open the gate, please. Madam, what about you when they say you go come down? Go inside, go meet her, come back again. No be stressed with that. All right, no problem. When the problem comes, I mean the real problem, just make sure that you're man enough to tell him and your madam that you were the one who refused me in. Hey, madam, take her easy. Ah, wait in, huh? Person they follow you play. They tell us I won't collect, collect Roger from you. May I open gate for you, I beg? Better. that saying again? Huh? Don't they say that if the mountain won't go to Muhammad, then Muhammad can jolly well go to the mountain? I have my reservations about desperate women. Oh, please. What? Call me whatever you want. 
I want you. So, so badly. What's wrong with you? I'm married, okay? I'm not going to tell your wife if you don't. <laughs> Seriously, look, I'm not wired to date two women at the same time. I'm not emotionally wired that way, okay? Fine. Then get rid of her. Yes, get rid of Ziola because I'm not backing down on you. You must be joking, right? Oh, really? The other day at the restaurant, even the other day in your house, I could sense the tension between both of you already. Look, you are mistaking a minor misunderstanding between husband and wife as something big in your head. That's what you're doing. Liar. That's what you are. A liar. Just so you know, I'm a great mind reader. I can tell that you're regretting your marriage already. So don't pretend, okay? Like I said, I am not backing down. And like I said, I am not emotionally wired to date two women at the same time. It has to be over between I and Zola before anything can happen between you and I, okay? Fine. Right. like rotten egg. <gasps> anyway, hey, I'm leaving you on to the eggs, Ina. What's going on? Don't stop again, what's going on? I can't perceive anything, we'll just perceive in the bed. What's going on? Your wife practically locked herself up in her office, avoiding everyone else as much as she could. That's good. That's, that's a good step. Not really. Why? I mean, a weak, fortunate one, I'd rather say. For how long do you think this charade will go on before she finds out that she's being played? Don't worry, she's not going to find out. If only you knew this is the only first step and there are medication and drugs with side effects that causes terrible body odor. Great self-doubt in her mind, confusion, a state of uncertainty where she questions her own reality. You have to mess with her mind a little before you hit her with the real thing. And what do you mean by that? Look, I'm sorry. Nothing can happen, can ever happen between you and I. It can never be an item, okay? So just get that through to yourself. <laughs> that must be a joke, right? You know I can literally walk out of this place right now, straight to your wife, and expose your scheme to her? <laughs> and then I won't. 
No, no, tell me. And mm. tell her what exactly. That you tried to sleep with me or you tried to rape me and I refused and then you decided to somehow magically expose all the talent in my cupboard. Get out of my house. Ah, <laughs> uh, if you think you can use me for your dirty Get out! out. Uh, it doesn't end up with it. Don't know about it. Am I smelling? <laughs> Forgot my dad. Yes. You dismay. You, you know how you dismay. You dismay where, where? Uh, like, really, um, well, well, like, am I smelling awful or am I smelling really, really good? I don't understand. Am I smelling? <clears throat> Madam, this kind of question when you ask me now, you don't teach you say, they try to tempt me. Because which kind of mouth I won't use talk, say my Oga wife, it is made like this, like that. You know what? Never mind. What is it again, Richard? I played your little game the other night without a fuse. You did well, Doctor. Calm down. I only called you here because I want you to do one or two things and it has to do with my wife. I'm sure you know blackmail is a serious crime. Oh, please. We're, we're past that, okay? We're past that. Okay. So what do you want this time? Hmm. Hey, you're talking. Listen. My wife will be coming to you to confirm if she has body odor. You need to confirm that she does. Not that you're going to heal her or anything, but I want you to be pushing her back and forth, up and down, until I'm ready. For goodness sake, Richard. What? That's unethical. Look, I don't want to... No, do you, do you want to lose your, 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 your practice? No, if you are ready to lose your practice as, as a medical doctor, you let me know. Then I will report to the medical council about what you did to that little girl years back. Oh, oh yes. I will tell. Mm -hmm. You better calm down. Calm down. Because you are, all this thing you are making it look as if it's a big deal. It's not. Just relax. Get two fake practitioners and, and I'll pay them 100k each. It's as simple as that. Well, I don't think um, there's anything serious from what I've seen here. I don't know anything that might have caused this. Doctor, at, at first, my husband and I, we thought it was a particular cream I was using. Okay. But I've stopped using it. In fact, as we speak, I've postponed the use of any sort of cream for now. I see. Um. Did you change your diet? No. Okay. Well, like I said, no need to panic. All right, I'll place you on regime of vitamin supplement for two weeks. Hmm? Let's see how it goes. Thank you, doctor. Okay.
You don't look too good. Is everything all right? Mm -hmm. you, you started again. You don't go here. Sit down. Fine. <sighs> but um, your clothing has betrayed you. Why is my son in there? He just stepped out. I hope that you people have not started fighting at this early stage of your marriage. Nothing like that. See, Mom, I'm really stressed. Work has been really hectic for me. The stress. Okay. okay. If it is work, then it's fine. Do you know how many people are praying for your kind of job? Not just her kind of job, mm -hmm. any job at all. Two of my classmates, auntie, have been looking for job since they got three years in school. Three years. And they are just managing small, small jobs. I am not confusing the madam. <laughs> Don't start acting like a stranger. Okay, come, let's go to the kitchen. Something very delicious. Mom, do it in soon. <laughs> Mom, do you want orange juice? Yes, orange juice. Come in, chill. Let me have a drink, please, on the ground. Can you perceive anything? Yes, the aroma is killing. No, I don't mean the aroma, the food aroma, no. Like, can you perceive anything awful? I don't understand. Okay, do I? Am I smelling bad? Do I stink? No, why do you think so? You know what, never mind. Um, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Are we not going to wait for your husband? Mama, please eat up. He might come back very late. Mm, I want to see Brother Richard fly leave home. Mm. Yes, now. Ah, we will wait for him to get back before we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama, are you perceiving any order from sister? Emilia! What? Maybe my nose is not functioning properly. Mama can give you a better opinion. Mm -hmm. What kind of order are you talking about? I don't know. Ask her. Ma, it's like, um, like I'm having body odor for reasons. I don't, I don't really know. I cannot perceive any odor. And how can anyone tell? In the way you are drenched in perfume. It's only rice and chicken that I can, I can perceive here. This is very, very mild. It, compared to when I'm going out of the house, either to the office or going out, I almost empty a bottle of perfumes. My even believe yesterday, after all the perfume I mixed the spray, I got to the office, my colleague was telling me I smell very terrible. Mama, I was so nervous. I, I, don't, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> That's even possible. Mama. Never had no you know. Ah, my son is all <laughs> I was rushing down to see you because I knew you were coming. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you are here. How you, doing, you are the best son in law. Oh, Mama. <laughs> Welcome. How are you? Eh? So you decided to follow Mama this time around to come and see us. Good. My dear, why are you serving them water? Where's the wine? I forgot to show the red wine. It's still inside the cattle. 
Mama, let me get upstairs. Okay. Put the wine in the fridge and I'll be back. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> I'm coming. Thank you, my son. Is he smelling the him who do as well? He was the first to notice. Yeah, you're so funny. This one. She has been cracking me up since she came back from school. Is that so? This it's one. Even, Uncle Richard, is not funny. Mm. If you hear the one that my friend told me in school, ah, you'll be rolling on the ground. Really? It's okay. <laughs> my son. Mama. You have been wonderful. Thank you for taking good care of us. You are too much. God will bless you. Hey. My dear, I forgot to tell you. He sent us some money a few days ago. I was just sitting down and my phone just went off like that. I got an alert. When I checked my phone, hmm, money, money. He keeps doing that. He does that all the time. Just sitting down, the money will just enter like that. It's nothing, okay? I'm just glad that you brought her here. Your family. Boys of nowadays, they don't know what these ones you are saying, no. Eh? They don't even allow their indoors to come near the gates. Not to think of coming into the house. I'm taking care of them the way you are taking care of us. Mama, Mama, of course I will take care of you guys. I mean, she's all that I have. She means the whole world to me. Same as you and her sister. You are too much. You are too much. You are the man. Mama, it's okay. It's not that. Allow me to raise you. Let me raise you. Allow me to raise you. Let me say it the way it is. Without missing words. How many men take care of your you know, the way you do? Doing a great job, my son. Thank you. And God will bless you. Amen. I just wish that her father was alive to see the reward of labor. Mama, I'm sure Papa will be happy and proud wherever he is. Very happy. <laughs> hey, lucky girl. She said, your sister is very lucky. You are a lucky girl. No, lucky. You're a lucky girl. You're lucky. No, 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 babes, jokes apart, forget that fact that I'm laughing with you, okay? In fact, it's crazy. Why they even blow this grammar? They're mad. A very silly girl, I swear. No, 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 in the phone say you're too busy now. You're busy past me. Where you know if you carry your two left leg, Waka come with me. Thank you, babes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My husband. Mouse not give me drink. Cool. Thanks, babes. <laughs> Come on, shut up. Shut up, that business. Love key you there, idiots. <laughs>
What is going on? Why do I see all this bad? What is going on? What do you smell in this bar? Alright, so sorry, the fight our financial influence with regional countries. We are supposed to assist them to give a very good accountability analysis. And that we must do. Yes, you sir. understand? Where is that file I ask you to submit this morning? Um, I think uh, it's the. Sorry, let me just go straight to you. Mrs. Dola, you were supposed to be addressing this meeting now. Uh, yes, yes, sir. I'm, I'm not Anyway, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Spare us your excuses. As you can see, we are gathering for another attempt. You can have your seat, please. Thank you, sir. What's this now? Mrs. Zola, are you okay? obvious because there's a persistent smell that is coming from your direction. I mean take a day off, a medical leave so that you can fix yourself. Okay? Right? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Let's just take a 30 minutes break. Now, why are you wasting time? Am I dreaming? You are not dreaming. Get, get, get out! See, waiting. No, be saying you say me can smell your body. Now, see that time. What's this? What is all this? On my bed! On my bed! I don't fumble. I don't fumble. I the crazy. James, you are a madman. What you never do for this life, eh? Who for 40 years, they don't they do this thing come? Eh? Why you allow devil to push you? <laughs> now me push devil. Devil don't push me. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oga, sorry, sir. Eh? So now, so thief go come, jump inside, go the dance, you no go hear anything. Oga, okay. they no born the thief. Mm. They no born the thief way. Me, I be thief. The <laughs> thief, not the thief, thief. Ah. Anyway, how much be that salary where they pay you? Oga, why you ask me now? How much be your salary? Uh, uh, 35k, you don't jam me. 35,000? So, hey, in this in this current economy, okay. that's not attainable. You better pass nothing. Hey, no, you don't I go that I'll beef you up, I'll beef you up. Eh? Like that. I'll go change that to 60,000. Hey, Oga! Okay. Leave me alone. Hey, you want to carry me? Ah. You want to lift me up the floor? Oga, okay. Oga, okay. God will bless you for me. Okay. Leave me alone, James. Come, come, let me That is not even what I want to even discuss with you. Okay. Can you keep a secret? Here! Yeah. I talk. I talk um Okay. She you don't keep my love. Hey! She make me James see. How you go talk? Say I don't keep my lovely wife. Shut up your mouth there. Okay. Shut up! What? Okay. Anytime you fight with uh, uh, madam, I the thing where we say you won't kill her, you won't kill her. Oh, today I just want you to be able to do something for me. Yeah? I want you to uh, Make her do it. Make her give her a punch. I want you to impregnate, madam. Hmm? Shh, shh. If you impregnate her, finish it. We sure see the thing enter. I'll give you 250,000. No best, no best. I won't make sure that you are the follow talk. Okay? Hmm? Talk him again. I say, what makes you give madam a name? Hey! Yes, oh, okay, oh, okay. this kind of way you talk. Look, go put me for jail now. Open your mouth there. This kind of... I will give you 250,000. I bet you did say, <laughs> my organ will be converted. Shut up your mouth there. Shut up. Is that, is that what we are telling you? Organ will be converted. Oh, shut up your mouth. Just to make sure you do what we, we, we told you to do. If the thing enter, we confirm. I will give you the first. First payment. Hmm. Oga, you sure say now you the follow me talk so? I mean, uh, my chest is cutting. Make me do one like that. I need that thing to happen. So make you yeah, do one for me. That one will save no be problem. <laughs> I be, I know be baby food cooking. Correct. Be, wait. You sure say, Madame agree? Because I mean, that one situation is okay. Madame, you about that? But she go pretend like say no one to answer my phone. <laughs> you want shake? We don't become party now, waiting. Huh? That, keep, keep that. We are business partners. Keep our secret. Okay. I go do up. I go do up. I go do up. <laughs> ball, ball. Shake me a bit. Two fifty. You be like, see God get reason where they make people happy. I never danced like this before. So better they come, oh better they come. <laughs> better they come, oh better I come. <laughs> Make I no fear. It a better for me, oh. Where my music? <laughs> Hi, God. Ah, the music don't nearly finish. He don't. Ah, <laughs> see they play, <laughs> they play, they play, they play. Person say we could follow your wife do something. I mumu so I go, I go do it. Disgust, I feel. Looking at this trash of a thing. I mean, how could you? What? You sent me up with the game. <laughs> so, I, 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 is that what cheap excuse is going to come up with? So, you're not just only a, a, a smelling person, you're also a cheap one. Not! What? Is this what you do behind my back? No, no, no. Is this what you do with your smelly self behind my back? So you would allow James into my own bed? Ah. 
<laughs> Jay's trying to rape me. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You will tell that to my dad and your mother. After I'm done, so we chat with each other. You get your sweat. You get your sweat. Just it. It's either one of the two. Accept the divorce or accept to live in this house under my own rules and regulation. You are not being fair to me like this. We are past all of that. We are past all of that. Please. No, we haven't. Richard, you have to believe me. I did not invite James to our room. No, take a good look at James. Look at me. I don't understand. Are you going to respond to my proposal or not? Richard, I don't want to divorce you. Why? Because you are scared of this scandal that would uh, erupt from No! Because I love you! <laughs> Look, I'm no longer sure about that. As a matter of fact, this second chance I'm giving to you is as a result for you to show and prove to me that you can be a wife material, a real wife material. I am being a true wife to you. I don't understand what you mean by housewife. Where is this coming from? For you to have the ability to become a full-time housewife, you have to stop your work. Simple. No, no, I can't. <laughs> you see, I said it. So it will give you enough excuse for your infidelity. Going around with your male colleagues. Stop it! 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 Very nice place, I mean, really nice view. Yes. Thank you, my mother. Which is the best I see the one you see here. It's not a secret. I can give it to you. I can give it to you. Goodness not. She looks completely in shadow of herself. She even stinks worse. Ha! I am sorry for the discomfort. But you shouldn't have come. It would have been better if you could. Yeah, you are you are right, but um the director insisted that we checked on you in person. That's why we're here. Siola, is this the same you? You're a complete shadow of yourself. Yeah. I am battling depression. That should gladden you and do it. You have never been happy. The fact that I was brought outside the establishment and made managing director ahead of the two of you. Listen, Isola, I can't pretend I didn't feel slighted or envious. But I can't take delight in seeing you or anyone going into depression. For what? I'm not that kind of person. 
It doesn't even matter anymore. You, Joel, and the rest can take back your position. It's all over. What are you talking about? So, you have seen my wife's condition? Because this was not how my wife was when she started working with you guys. I'm beginning to suspect that someone must have used jazz to, to jazz her at a place of work. Come to think of it, my dear, haven't you thought about it? Look, guys, this will be the last time my wife will be coming to that place of work, and that is final. the treatments have been put on. I'm still not getting better. In fact, it's getting worse. It confounds me also with all the dermatology tests and treatment. I don't know why your body is resistant. Um, doctor. Yes, please. Do you think it's, it's spiritual, like, Am I being buried? Stop talking like that. We don't believe in such things. We don't. I was actually going to suggest that you've flown abroad for a second look. Perhaps there's something a specialist dermatologist might have missed. And um, I think India will be okay. Yes. And if that's okay by you, I'll start making the arrangement. So, what did Dr. Ben say? He said I needed to go for treatment abroad. Maybe that's what we should have done in the first place. Yeah. I just hope the, the money in our joint account will be enough to see me through. Um, he suggested India, and I've asked him to make the arrangement already. Joint account, Kwa. What happened to World Bank? Yeah? Uh, you're not one of the advocates. They're not supposed to take care of your medical bills. The same war bank you asked me to resign from. Yeah, but you haven't resigned, have you? And uh, you are signed on to the HMO. Why don't you take advantage of that? Well, I haven't registered yet. I was planning to do that next year. You say? I say I haven't registered. I am planning to do that next year, Richard. Hmm. This problem... There's a big problem. I, I, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> uh, there's problem. Pro problem how, Richard? Hope the money in a joint account. No, the accounts I have put my all. Because majority of the money belongs to me, Richard. I know it. I hope it's intact. There's no money. There's no money. I don't lie. There's no money. No money. I don't understand. No. What do you mean, no money? Richard, no money. Um, uh, the joint accounts, more than five, five million naira. Yes. I can't, I can't, I can't remember signing any check with you, Richard. Please tell me you're joking. It's about signing, you know I always have my beer. I always know what to do about this. But, uh, in this case, I have to use the money for school. Get out of here! 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 Get out of No, no. 
I tell you, everything you told me that was going to happen from A to Z is said in <laughs> She has become a complete vegetable at my beck and call. I told you, I told you. <laughs> if it works with your mom, why would it not work with your wife also? Hey, but you see, Papa, I had to apply extra creativity when it came to that uh, stinging, this uh, smelling part because I, I made sure I, I applied some pharmaceutical chemical to ensure that she smells. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you need to go that far? Papa, I needed to have gone beyond that because you see that's you like you're saying. She's very smart. If I did not do it that way, she would know that there's something going on. Oh, no, no. What, what if the chemical now cause damage to her organs? It would be unfortunate, Papa. I don't know. But I had to do what I had to do. Anyway, I had to do it. That's okay. That's okay. No problem. The important thing is that you have to clean her off enough money so that you and the two can elope to USA. Stop you understand it now. You understand. You understand. Any other advice you feel like should be? Uh, one more thing. You have to pack it. Get your things ready, eh? so that in case this her health issue is becoming a problem, eh? we have to move immediately. You understand? Hey, my darling daughter. Yes, my son told me you are sleeping. Uh, yes, I'm awake now. Ah, look at you! Look at you! Um, should I make you anything to eat? Um, no, no, no. I, I think I'm fine. I'm fine. With the wine, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. My daughter, look at you. <laughs> Beautiful girl. Sir. Where are you going to? I'm going out to the same place. But is there not AC in this house now? It's not the same as fresh air, Yeah, Here, one Okay, so okay. Okay. Oh, I hope you're okay. <sighs> yes, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Ah, Mama! Ziola! Mama! Ziola! Mr. Richard, she will be fine. Yeah, it's like she suffered from some sort of suspended shock that caused her unconsciousness. I was fearing the worst. It's okay. There's complication though. She's she's pregnant, and that shock almost caused her the pregnancy. But it's okay, we were able to manage it. Mom and Dad should be happy. I mean. Is this a good news? Considering the gaming house we have been feeding her, did that make the unborn baby? Zahola is where? The hospital? What happened? Now that um, <coughs> Ziola is pregnant, what are you going to do with her and the child? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Ziola has become a non-entity to me. She doesn't exist. And for the child, I will try as much as possible to be a father figure to, to him or her, with or without her approval. And that's fine now. Okay. <coughs> no problem. Um, so, uh, are you expecting anyone? Oh, exactly. How did they even get past the gate? Who is that? Who is that? What are you doing here? Who are you? 
try to act for me. You and your father are under arrest. For what? For what? For what? For attempted murder of your wife, fraud, and other sundry offenses that will be determined at the court of law. But how am I involved in all this? How am I involved? You both are advised to remain silent because whatever you say or do now will be used against you at the court of law. And be reminded that the house is being surrounded by policemen. Give me your two hands. Straight for Why? You tried not to do anything for you. Give me your hands. But I'm not. But, but I'm not involved. Now, gentlemen, move. Out! How did I get myself involved in this, for God's sake? medical career, my image, my credibility, got me uncle. <sighs> Move! Come out! Move! Go! Look at them. We could have had it. Oh. We would have lived a very happy life. But if I survive this with my baby, you will never have anything to do with this child. Damn. By the time you manage to come out of prison, my child will truly know the devil he had as a father. Oh, well, my friend, move. Move! Get out! No, 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 hold up. As for the divorce option, my lawyer is working on it. Take it. Oh. My friend, move. Move. Oh, my friend, why are you this? Move. 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 I showed you this would not work. Did I tell you? My friend, I told you that this idea would not work. But still, you insisted to train me. What kind of training? I did kind of training is this that has led us to this thing. Get into the car. Come here. Don't try to be a funny. Try it again, I'll forget the bullet or whatever. Oh, get it. Move into the car. But, 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 car. My friend, get it. What, what, what do you have your mouth to tell them? Eh, you cannot keep your secret and you cannot keep your mouth. Keep your mouth shut. Right. Right. Don't get out, get out of here. Then you fuck up your mouth. Don't keep your mouth shut. All the money I gave to you, you I don't want to even be kept in any way. Don't have to help with your medical career. My life is over. My friend, remember, you are meant to remain silent. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's just go through this and find out why we are having too much excess, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> How is everyone doing? Hi, Hi Cynthia. You look so good. Thank you. It feels good to be back to this office. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I'll miss you guys so much. Mm -hmm. So, so much. <laughs> miss it. Miss it. How are you? Good morning, sir. You're welcome. How have you been? I'm fine. It's mm. nice having you back with us. Thank you so much. And I didn't see Miss Joy. Oh, Mrs. Joy. She resigned. She resigned as the assistant director. Oh. It's high time you take back your position. I feel so honored, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. It's good having you back, yeah? Thank you. Um, please, uh, give me the file. That's it. Yes. Yes, this is for you. Okay, this is for you. So, uh, I want you to go through this file. Put every name into our system. Huh? Please, it should not be a mistake. It's, it's the best contract we ever got in the Done. Done. <laughs> Trust 
never thought would drift apart But now I see the cracks appearing Tearing at my heart You had a grip on my soul A hold I couldn't break But I've woken up to realize It was just a mistake You played me like a puppet Pulling all my strings Manipulation veiled by love It cut me deep within You painted a picture so perfect A friendship built on lies Your words so convincing Pretending to sympathize But behind those innocent eyes A mastermind resides You too